Hi, welcome back to Hacking. Today we're going to work with virtual machines. We're actually going to be using VirtualBox. So first we're going to start VirtualBox and then we're going to import an OVA. That's a file that already has all of the machine settings set for us. So let's go ahead and look at that right here on the screen. So first we're going to go over to VirtualBox and start VirtualBox. And once VirtualBox is started, we're going to import, so that's that little import icon there, and you'll notice that that import icon will not always show. Once we click a machine, the machine options come up here. This is the entire VirtualBox option. Now, I should mention uh, your preferences. So if you go over to File Preferences or click Preferences just like I did, we are Home Student VirtualBox, not VirtualBox VMs. Be aware of that don't use VirtualBox space VMs because we don't want spaces in our file names where we're keeping our VirtualBox files. Next, extensions. We do have the extensions installed for this version of VirtualBox at that point in time. Okay, moving on. So we're going to click import. Now on this system, we actually have the import over in the slash opt directory. Often you'll find this in your downloads directory. So we're going to look in slash opt right now. And when we go to opt, you'll see metasploitable.ova right there. So we're going to click open. Once we click open, we'll choose next. It's got a couple of options there. It says use two CPUs, 512 meg of RAM. It's going to have uh, some descriptions for us to give us a username and password for it. We don't want to use that just yet. And then over here, it's got this, uh, where it's going to put it, which is Home Student VirtualBox. Perfect. It's got this MAC address policy. Include only NAT network adapter addresses. Over here, you can say, yeah, use all those addresses, but we're not. We're going to say generate a new MAC address for everything. So generate new MAC addresses for everything. Then over here, it says import hard drives as VDI. Yes, we do. We want to use the virtual disk image format that is native for VirtualBox when we import these. You have a choice of just importing VMDKs from VMware or some other different styles and running those. And I don't know if there's any performance problem with that, but we do want to choose VDIs. So let's go ahead and pick that VDI. And when we install it, you're going to see that template Metasploit show up. So import. Now, importing this machine will only take a few seconds. It might come up and say it's going to take about 10 minutes. It's not. It's going to take about 10 seconds, and then it's done. So, well, there it is, right. Now, if you notice, those options where we had import at top, those are gone. If you click over here in tools, you'll see those options come back. So don't get confused if you're in class and you're, you're on a machine and you're like, I don't see the import options. Uh, well, that's because you've probably clicked on a virtual machine. Now, the next step that we're going to do today is we're going to create a group for our machine. So by create a group for our machine, we're just going to go right click and we're going to tell it that it is part of a group and that group is going to be called hacking. So we create that new group there and that new group and be sure your machine is powered off when you do this. On that new group, we need to change the name. So we'll go through the rename group, and that group is going to be called Hacking. And that's because we'll have two groups inside this classroom. One's going to be Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems, and the other's going to be Hacking. And we want to be able to differentiate those machines. Now, if I minimize that group right there, you'll see our machine disappears. And if I expand it back out, then you'll see our machine pops back on the screen. So let me click that there. Now if we click on that template Metasploit and click Start, that should start our machine right up. It says, hey, you know what? We're not, we don't have this wireless adapter that I'm looking for here. And we're going to say Change Network Settings. Right there, that bridged ETH0, we're going to leave it just like that. We're going to choose OK. Now, on the screen, you'll see it's got some options there saying, you know, it's this auto capture keyboard, etc. If you click, the, it depends on which one that you want to click. If you click the little message box with a line through it, it won't show you those messages again, ever. And if you click the little X, then every time you start a virtual machine, it will pop up with those messages. All right, so we've got our Metasploitable machine up and running there. So since that machine is up and we know it's MSF admin and MSF admin, we can log in. And when we log in, we're just going to do a shutdown dash H 
now and shut that machine down. So actually, sudo, see if we're in the sudo group. See if that works for us. All right, there we go. So that machine should be shutting down now. And once that machine shuts down, we'll see if the tools recognize the machine has shut down. That means that VirtualBox recognizes the machine is in a shutdown state and will show you over here on the left-hand side. Or if you're going to have to manually power down the machine, you'll find in different operating systems, you have to manually power down the machine. Now on this machine, if you'll look on the screen there, it is still shutting down. Huh? Oh, system halted. Okay, fantastic. Now we see that system is halted, but it's still running. So we're going to have to hit that little X up here. Hit the X, and then we'll say power off the machine. So we'll choose power off machine, and now we can see that machine is powered off. Okay, now not to make this too long, but our third thing today will be duplicating or cloning a machine. And the, the third thing here is cloning a machine that's right-clicking this machine and choosing clone. And when you clone a machine, it clones whatever you have in that machine, and then all future changes take place in your clone. So over here, we'll call this victim01. Okay, we'll just call it victim01. And we can see where it's at. It says MAC address policy, we're gonna generate new. And over there it says keep disk names, keep hardware UIDs. I'm going to click on expert mode. Now by clicking on expert mode, I will have to go through and change the name again. So up there, victim01. And over here, I'm going to choose a linked clone. Don't forget to generate the new MAC addresses. Now there's keep, don't have to worry about that. And we'll choose clone. Now by doing this, we now have a machine right here, this victim. We can damage this machine any way we want to. We can even delete this machine, and it will not affect our original template machine. So we can always clone that template out, and then we can damage these machines however we wish. Now, if we do absolutely trash all the machines, don't worry. Just go back over to Tools and re-import that OVA. That's all for today. I hope that you had a good lab, and I look forward to talking to you next time.